balala. I'm on your skin too pure like coke. Oh, no. And your body choking up like smoke. I'm on your back up too big, no be joke. Oh, no. I'm on LA, you go give me up. Oh. I'm on your skin too pure like coke. Oh, no. And your body choking up like smoke. Oh, no. I'm on your back up too big, no be joke. Oh, no. I'm on LA, you go give me up. Oh. You be busting my brain, Mrs. Boomba. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Tony Olaoye, and if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, when I'm about to go out, I like run away straight up four hours before I go because it just shapes my body for the dress. So, moving on to my makeup, I'm going to use my spoolie from my brow pencil by Benefit to basically just brush off my hairs. And then I'm going to also use my brow contouring primer by Benefit as well and contour my brows, make them soft and whatnot. And to fill in my brows and define them, I'm going to use my Co Brow Gel in the shade number five. As a spoolie and basically brush up my hair so the product can blend in let's do the same thing on the other brow so i'm going to go ahead and use this flat brush and basically like applying my brows Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm basically going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion and apply it all over my eyelids. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a band-aid, yes, a band-aid, to basically secure my eyes from all the fallout. For my transition color, I'm using this orange shade by Juvia's Plate. I'm basically applying this in my crease. And then I'm going to go in with this lovely burgundy shade from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it up with my orange shade that I use as a transition shade. Please ignore this boy in the background. He needs some attention, but he's not going to get it. So moving on, I'm going to use my Maybelline gel liner and just basically apply this to the outer part of my eyes and to the inner parts as well and also in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and use this small brush to basically blend it out as much as I can. Going in with my Karate um, White Concealer, I'm going to apply that to the middle where I have a little space. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out a little bit more. And I'm going to use this Eggplant Artist Shadow by Makeup Forever and just apply this on top of the white concealer. So I'm also going to apply some glitter and I'm using this purple glitter by Faces. I'm just going to apply this on top of the purple eyeshadow as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Then I am also going to use my eyeliner to basically give myself some wings and apply some mascara and some false lashes. <laughs> I'm using the Ardell Double Up Lashes in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Blow Primer to basically prime my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Early Girl Pro Corrector to just correct my face, my dark spots, my dark circles, my girl stash, almost everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and blend. So for foundation, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Junior's Gel Foundation in 84 Medium Cocoa. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to basically just blend this all over my face. And then to highlight my face, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium as usual. And I'm going to use my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to basically blend out as well. So to set my highlight, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and on my nose. Then I'm going to go ahead and contour using my Early Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. And I'm going to apply this on my nose, my temples, and my cheekbones. To highlight my face, I'm using my Bobbi Brown highlight in the shade Bronze Glow, and I'm going to apply this to the top parts of my cheeks, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow as well.
Oh my god, I love I love this highlight like so I'm dusting off the excess Laura Mercier powder I have underneath my contour. I'm going to take this brown eyebrow pencil from NYX and I'm just going to basically line my lips. My lipstick, I'm going to go in with this NYX lingerie in the shade Beauty Mark 05. Okay, so moving back to my eyes, I'm going to go in with this Kajal eye pencil and I think it's by, it's by Visanti. I'm going to leave it this way. I don't think I want to smoke it out at all. So I'm just going to leave it like this and then I'm going to go ahead and use some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to go in with my Master Fix Setting Spray by Maybelline and I'm just going to drown my face. The wig I'm going to be using in this video is from Diva's Wigs. I already plucked out the frontal and made you look a little bit more natural. So it's basically their Brazilian version curly hair in 180% density. And the lace front already came bleached, which I love and I appreciate because I didn't have to do too much work. And I actually love the hair. It's full, nice and soft. Moving on to my outfits, my beautiful, sexy bandage dress. It's from LorenoBenStore.com. I was also able to get like the waist trainer, some nipple covers and um, strapless bras as well and it's quite affordable. I think it's about 75 Canadian dollars once you do the conversion. But yeah, that's the end of my video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have yourselves a blessed day. Bye! I'm okay, I want to control it I say, get your body, but I want to upgrade it I want to analyze it, I want to fertilize it To buffet that da olati ginger me, eh hey. Olati ginger me, I say To buffet that da olati ginger me, eh hey. Olati ginger me, oh no And if you really want to make you put it on me And if you really want to make you put it on me